In this scene, I have a basic character setup that's made from a kinematic body 2D and a sprite node. It's very important that you use the kinematic body 2D node as the movement script will not work without it. Now let's get into the movement. Select your kinematic body 2D and add a new script to it. Get rid of all this rubbish and create two new variables. The first one will be called speed and will have a value of 200. The second one will be called velocity and will be a vector to. Next, create a new function called handle input. Inside this function, we're going to write the following lines of code. This line of code checks if a specific input, in this case UI up, is being pressed. If it is, then it subtracts a value of 1 from the y axis of velocity. This line of code here resets the value of velocity every time the function is called. This stops the value of velocity from going to something like minus 10. Next, copy this if statement and paste it again below. We're going to change UI up to UI down and change this minus symbol into a plus. This will now instead add 1 to the y axis of velocity. We're going to repeat this again for the UI left and UI right inputs. This time we're also going to be changing the value of the x axis instead of the y. For UI left, we're going to be minusing 1 from the x axis, and for UI right, we're going to be adding 1 to the x axis. If you want to know how to use your own custom inputs, consider checking out the video in the top right. We're now going to normalize the velocity variable using this line of code. To make the character actually move, we're going to be using a built in method called move and slide. Inside this method, we're going to multiply velocity by speed. And for the final step, we're going to create a physics process function. And inside this function, we're going to call the handle input function that we just made. And that's about it. Don't forget to run your code and test that it works. Before you go, consider checking out this video about creating custom inputs for your games.